And welcome to another Fury of Dracula game. This will be game three against uh, Worm Talon and Strider. Since and joining me in commentary is Snuffleupagus. Hello, Met King. Hello, uh, live streaming audience. Yeah. So, as I said, this is a game three sudden death matchup. Winner goes on to the final. Yep, pretty exciting. Winner yeah. will face Altaris, who has won the other side of the bracket. Yep. Now, since this is a game three tiebreaker, the first one, quick summary. Based on prior records, Strider gets choice of which side he's playing, and he has decided to play Hunters, so Wormtown will be playing as Dracula for this final match. It is interesting that this is the only uh, tiebreak we've had to go to in this entire knockout phase of the tournament. It uh, This has been a chalk bracket, if there ever was one. So, um, in the, um, prior to the knockout phase, in the, uh, um, the first two phases of this tournament, uh, Strider had only one loss, and Worm Talon had three, so, yeah. top and of the, from, uh, the league, uh, and very high in the league. Funnily enough, Strider's only loss was against Worm Talon. Yeah. Is that, he, he, yes. That's right. Yep. And one of Worm Talons was to Strider, I believe. Yep. They were 1-1 one one against each other. Now they're 2-2 two two against each other after two more games. So this is really the winner-take-all game for them. Yep, yep. Yep. And in all those matchups, yeah. it was always a Hunter victory. Dracula's not won this matchup between the two of them. So we'll see yep. here if that trend continues or if Worm Talon can break it. We're just waiting for the all clear. Yep. Just got it, in fact. So. All right, so uh, we should hop in then? Yes, we shall. All right. Let's see. Game in progress. Let's spectate. It's looking like we're getting a superhero set up. Yep. That uh, yep. seems like those are becoming more popular. Yep. You have that nice one-two combo of the two strongest hunters together, uh, which has some benefits. Uh, the downside of having uh, Mina Harker by herself in Spain. Yep. Yeah, she is the damsel in this case. Yeah. We'll see how that setup uh, influences Worm Talon's choice of Dracula's starting location. Yeah. And we have a hunter card on top of the event deck, so good luck to the hunters. Yeah. And he's Sister opening Sister Agatha. Aggie. Oh. Interesting. Never something you want to see on your first turn as Dracula. It's an interesting choice of whether to ally with Agatha or uh, use the search feature. Well, uh, for right now, it's uh, because this is turn one, you've got both your cards in the deck. Searching is never the worst, isn't a bad thing. You're yeah. not really expecting to have a Dracula encounter for a while. So, taking that early search right today is not, is actually probably the better option. Sure, sure, sure. If you saw, um, of course, you never know if both your surprising returns are on the bottom. True. And the downside with searching is that you only have one space that you could theoretically hit. You can't just hit something on the trail. There's only one spot. Yeah. So it's uh, I think it's at least uh, something of an open question based on that, since your odds of getting it are lower than it might be after Draco's moved a little bit. But, but it's... It, uh, but either way, this is literally the first card of the game drawn. So Yeah. <laughs> Taking a little time to decide. Yep. Well, as we said, he has to pick the exact spot Dracula's on. And he's not in Rome. Yep. Yep. That, uh... So where do you think Dracula started based on the setup? 
You know, um, I would certainly uh, in this setup, as with a lot of good setups, East is the Ooh, East is beneficial. Here's the return. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice draw. Rising, Re Rising Return and Heavenly Host on Mina. Wow. Yeah. All right. So the search, uh, decision to search, clearly uh, proves to be the right call. Yep. But uh, to your question, I, I'm thinking, right, so you're either looking at the far east of the map or you're looking at maybe uh, the um, area the around Amsterdam highway. or the small yeah. city highway. Yep. Yeah. Those um, are kind of the key areas. Um, one place I sometimes start when I'm Dracula in this setup is actually close to Spain, like 54 or 8, Bordeaux. Me yep. on her own uh, is not the most dangerous hunter, so... If you get into an early combat with her, odds are you'll have a better chance of ending it in your favor as Dracula. Yeah, I like that start as well. Um, and maybe uh, if you think you might have a chance at a vampire mature uh, with your first card, um, you might move over to the um, Germany-France-Italy border yeah. to create some uh, obfuscation. room to obfuscate. You know, the many directions you can go from that setup. Absolutely. Yeah. Plus, it forces the superhero and his sidekick to start running across the map to try and catch up to where you are. Which creates another possible uh, direction to move in. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I do think that in this non-beta version, your options are more limited than they might be in the beta. I think with the beta, the... Uh, UK is more viable than it is here. Yep, with the pre-sliding trail. It'll be interesting to see how uh, things change in future tournaments as we move towards using that uh, excellent beta patch. Yep. But unfortunately, we are not there yet, so... Today, we are still playing the old way. Yep, savor the... What we expect to be the last few... Uses of uh, these rules, uh, the meta that's developed around this version. Um, I don't think that meta is going to fully go away, but it'll start being modified for the, how the beta is played. Yeah, I completely agree. Let's see. Um... Yeah, so far it's been a pretty standard startup a couple turns. Yep, hunters are supplying, supplying, and supplying some more. Yep. Don't let that hoard. Yeah, that's kind of, what of always been one of the downsides of early Dracula games. It they always do start out the same way, getting hunters ready. <laughs> Figuring yep, out which is... shoes go with this coat. <laughs> but if you can uh, wait through the slow early game, it builds to a climactic mid and late game. Yep. It's part of the fun of uh, the way this game is structured. Alright, so third move for Dracula. Will he misdirect? So far, that's kind of been a standard thing Wormtown's been doing, but nope, not this time. Not today. You think that was uh, unintentional? You think maybe it might suggest a lair strat? Honestly, I'm not sure at this point. Wormtown, I don't don't see do lair strats too often, so if he's doing it now, it would be interesting to see how it plays out. Yeah, he has been uh, training a little bit in these... Uh past couple weeks. Mm -hmm. I've seen him on the Discord looking for games with no beta. Maybe he's trying to throw Strider a little curveball. Well, Strider is the number one seed in this tournament so far, so he's he is the man to beat. Most definitely. Was his last loss to Worm Talon uh, the Geneva um, uh, CG nuke, or was that the uh, no, Granada. regular season? I'm sorry, Granada. Yes, not Geneva. Excuse it was me. Granada. Yes. <laughs> that was a... 
Yeah. Interesting uh, ending yeah. there. Yeah, Strider had one of those moments of, I regret all my life choices. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I realized the mistake. Oh, there's Jonathan Harker. Oh, this is definitely someone you would thing. ally early on. True. Yeah. He's not great in every... Oh, he's going for the search. I wonder if that's a sign he's leaning towards uh, that he may have newspaper reports. Mm. The uh, advantage of Jonathan Harker as an ally is lessened if you have newspaper reports. Yep. Not Frankfurt. So he's not in, So he hasn't joined the Germans yet. I say, I think these first two searches on Stratus Point are kind of interesting. Yeah. Right? Searching Rome and Frankfurt, you'd I feel like you would expect to see searches of, you know, something like Bologna, Bucharest, maybe, uh, yeah. the spaces next to Amsterdam. Yep, yeah, somewhere in the Far East, maybe. Yeah. Of course. It seems like the... Strider is expecting something slightly unusual. Yeah. Also, to be further, fair on the Rome search, that was the first turn search, so. Most definitely. Yeah, there's always the chance that he was in the Italian pencil, but he started in Nantes instead. Most definitely. Yeah. I just wonder if they're indicative uh, of Strider having been in his head a thought that Warm Talents is going to change things up a little bit or, you know, not go, oh. you know, the most generic start. If Strider is expecting Worm to try something different. Well, I'll tell you this much. I haven't been watching Worm Talents practice game, so I have no idea what he's cooking right now. Nope. Nope, he could uh, he could be doing anything. Also, we we'll are see, uh... we've only seen two Dracula events drawn so far as well, so it has been a very heavy event for the hunter early game. Yeah, if we have a hoax start, may mean yeah. Drac has slim picking. We'll, well see. Plenty I'll... game left to play. Oftentimes, all Dracula needs is that one card. Oh, yeah. Never discount the power of any Dracula event. For all we know, he could have Emmanuel Hildesheen in there. And that'll find his good friend, Emmanuel Hildesheen. Yeah. Uh, that card can uh, make the Dracula powers just multiply. Yeah. All right. Dracula, move number four. What you going to do? Even or just a simple, before. yeah. Even simple roadblocks can turn deadly at the right time. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely looking like we're going to see a later strategy from. Uh... Oh, we have a day prompt. We can confirm Dracula did not start in Ireland, and he did not start in Cagliari. Yep. We're learning things already. There's Tricky Dracula, and then there's that. <laughs> I mean, uh, Worm has started to get in uh, Ireland in our first game together, so I'm not going to put that past him, but yeah. not what he's chosen today. <laughs> well, we are cur well, he could still be in uh, the UK. True. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Is, I highly uh, doubt that, but... Of it's possible. It would be interesting. Yeah. And, uh... It, uh... Mystic Research. Five cards on the bottom. So he's got... And he burned a roadblock. So we got six in the discard now, so if it is that ho early hoax. Yep, Dracula's choices have indeed multiplied. Now we'll... Okay, Strider is using those dusk uh, surges. I'm sorry, night surges. You mean night supplies? Yes, I'm sorry. Night supplies. <laughs> I know, we were so unused to seeing them, especially early on. 
indeed. Um, it might tell us something uh, if we see him use night supplies with uh, some hunters and not others. He's discarded two stakes from those last two draws, though. It's three. Four already, so he's got one night supply left. He's trying for gearing up quickly, at least. Yeah, it might be a sign he's trying to uh, be aggressive early, or maybe a sign that he doesn't yet have horses. Yeah. Um, and wants to get those. But also, I mean, early supplies are always good anyway, so. A lot of speculation uh, in the early game. Yeah, but he has discarded two stakes, which is a bit worrying. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah, that will leave him vulnerable to vampire amateurs in the mid-game. And, there's and we have token. our first rumor token placed right. not on the first, but the second uh, uh, space Dracula uh, put a card down on. Yep. Could play that. Seeing, uh, he could ha Who knows what he's got on that first space then? It could be the hoax. It could be some bodyguards. Maybe he's planning yeah, to layer it for later. True. Maybe he got a really lousy opening hand. I think those are probably the likeliest options. Yep. Yep. Hired scouts. Hired scouts. All right, he's got five spots to hit and two chances, so we have a much better chance of seeing where Dracula's trail is. Galatz and Sophia. Either Galatz or Sophia. Sophia. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't look like he's in the Far East. Nope. It would be difficult to have uh, placed four cards down and not have hit one of those two cities. Possible. It will require some unusual movements. Yeah. <laughs> Comes I think those are good the... selections. Yeah, 17, 10, 6, 49, 55. Good selection for hired, start, uh, hired scouts, in my view. Definitely does imply what I thought initially that he's starting somewhere central. As you said, there are still plenty of ways he could have moved around in the east that doesn't hit those spots. Yeah, I look forward to seeing what uh, um, what Worm Talon as Dracula has actually done. Yeah. And that was uh, the final night if... fly. Indeed. Hopefully, Strider will have kept a good count. Otherwise, Dracula will be getting an event. As the uh, top seed in the league, I bet he's got the count. Uh... Yep. yep. Switches to uh, tickets. Yeah, there are plenty of ways people do to keep count. At one point, I was actually using the pin feature for hunters, pinning a location number to keep track. Interesting. Yeah. Well, you've got the numbers one through six on every on the board to play with. That's clever. That may be the only use of the pin feature that a human player has actually uh, actually done. Yeah, they've also said in the beta they're now letting you remove pins, which will also be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> they're not a bad thing to have if you're trying to, like, find a location. Plus, now that we can close the uh, screen, the map screen to see outside of combat and the like. That could also be used for, like, multiplayer. Huh. Yeah. 
like when I was first learning this game, I actually joined a got a three v one going, and I was playing as two of the hunters. So obviously, I'm asking like, okay, where should I search? Because I'm getting all the luck with these cards, and I don't know anything about the meta yet. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, okay, where's that city located? <laughs> Yeah, it's helpful to have someone, uh, a veteran, uh, kind of teach you the ropes. Oh, oh here we go. We newspaper. got newspaper reports. Saragossa. Interesting. Yep, he did start in the southwest. So what do you think? Are we seeing uh, him go away from uh, Mina or doing a little ring around her? Um, when I did this strategy against uh, Mr. Green the last tournament... I did a loop around and then back into Spain as soon as they came, she came out. But running around Spain is a very dangerous opening. Tarted carriage. Hunters are pouncing. Yeah. Now, tough thing about starting at Saragossa, though. I mean, Mina can easily trigger that. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe, maybe it's a spy. Maybe it's expected to be triggered. That would be interesting. Either way, unusual start, yeah. which uh, I think is going to make for an exciting game. Yeah, like you said, running around Spain is always a risk at the start when you've got a hunter in uh, Madrid. All it takes is an evil presence, and everyone knows where you are. And if Mia pulls the local rumors, then that's your entire trail flipped up with one card. Yep, a very significant risk. Um. Hmm. So we see horses from Seward and a chartered carriage from Godalming. I have to assume with all that supply that Godalming has horses too, but not necessarily. Well, if Mia's not feeling comfortable about checking Sargosa yet, she can wait one day still. Yes. Yep, she's got time. Yep. Okay, he didn't go to the north around Spain. Nope. Looks like he, Strider would rather figure out uh, where Dracula went after Saragossa than trying to hit that just, just yet. Yeah. Does have four one... options remain? Yep, he does have one more turn to get there, and Mino is still neighboring it. So. This also lends some credence to the idea that this is an intentional layer strategy. Because uh, if um, if Dracula started in Toulouse, that's a very good spot for a layer. Yeah. The only downside is that, that Toulouse is just going to have the one layered card on it right now. Yes. Where to next, Dracula? Yeah, if he's going north up towards like Amsterdam, this is a very good spot for him to be in because the hunters are have to check Spain first, since they know he was on the border there for a starting point. And there are lots of rail con connections he could have taken going north. For sure. So, hmm. so it could be tough for the hunters to get ahead of him if he's making a break for the east at the very start. All right. Yep. Doesn't have perfect horse economy. Yep. The rumor is in Toulouse. So maybe. So I guess he started in Barcelona. Probably, yeah. Well, there's not much Barcelona. reason to start in Alicante. Yeah. Well, Alicante could be a nasty layer spot if he comes back later. Clown yeah, Fran, so he went 54 8 15. Actually. I'm just noticing that uh, Barcelona was not made into a lair. 
No, it wasn't. Yeah. That's odd. That's a little strange. He was hoping to misdirect later, just as an emergency. Hmm. Or maybe he has a very good hand. And doesn't want to put anything down there. No ambushes. He's going to let the hunters come to him. I take it we're not... Oh, yep. Okay, aristocratic. That's yep. understandable. Yeah, good on Strider for not going for the stake. Well, that does save him for a bit. Hmm. Yep. Dogs. <laughs> and a mob. Who wants to play with the puppy? <laughs> I imagine Strider will take the hit on Sewer there as he is uh, quick to heal. Yep. Took four damage. Yeah. I think that's the right call. Right, so he's been. You've got four damage on Sewer. You've got Galming delayed. Mina might be delayed depending on what the uh, card is. Using a stake, interesting. But it's a saboteur. Yeah. Yeah, a saboteur. She uh, have a pistol. Well, saboteur going off right now isn't going to be super bad either. Better to hide what you've got at this point. So, yeah, that's he plays that a one. single roadblock token. Yep. Uh, I think of this one, you'd rather just layer that, right? Yeah. Because even if you could, even if you could put a roadblock on the one road that's needed to go the correct direction, you're you're telling the hunters where you are. Yep. If you do that, can't see the benefit of taking that one road. I'd rather have that. Oh. That well traffic spot be a layer. Well, I can think of one good spot to uh, roadblock right now, and that's the uh, white rail between Paris and uh, La Havre. If you want, if he was planning on using Van Helsing to use the rail network to catch ahead, suddenly he can't rail for a turn. I suppose. But that's the only real spot I can see putting a uh, roadblock to have any effect right now. Looks like he's I layering it. That. Yep. We'll see you soon if Van Helsing has a horse. Might obviate the need for his uh, use of the rails. Interesting misdirect after Claremont Friends as well. That'll open up the uh yeah. lots of ways he could have gone out of claim on friend Oops. I think uh Marseille's was off the table since uh <laughs> yeah. let the hunt go for a turn There's also still the uh, encounter in Bordeaux. Yep. Speaking of Bordeaux. Well, now you've got all the hunters clumped up down there. It does give Drax some time to get away. Yep. Plus two of them were delayed. We, uh, we didn't comment on it, but Drac used a wolf form, clearly uh, trying to create some distance. Yep. Now it's a good time to use it. You know whichever way you're wolfing is away from all the hunters. Seems like the obvious move would be to go book it to the east, just create lots of distance, but at this level of play, sometimes going for the obvious move is not the best move. Yep. We've staked a spy. Uh, he's gonna drop a weapon. He drops a pistol. 
Yeah, both holy circles are in the discard. Along with one of the crucifixes, so. Oh. So, Mina had the other stake. Rats. <laughs> Alright, so you know where the two stakes are. They're on Van Helsing and, uh... I wonder if that was a mistake, since that was on the, uh... The lair. <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> According to Strider, his oh. own words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah. Yeah, that was dumb. So we've seen a, a needless additional delay and two damage to Mina. And he's revealed and where his two those... stakes are. He's revealed his two stakes, and both of those cards are going to stay on that lair. Uh, yeah, that could have uh, gone better for Strider. <laughs> yep. Town says, happy what happens to everyone, lol, and he is absolutely right. Yep. Can't tell you how many... Yeah. I know Wormtown's done it a couple times yeah. himself. <laughs> yep, everyone makes dumb little mistakes like that. Yep. It's just most of the time they aren't in the semi-final game to end all games match. <laughs> Yeah, we are on Monday of week two, actually, and we still have yet to see Dracula get any points. True. It's not unheard of, but it always hurts to see Dracula going deeper into the game without even getting his first point. I think um, that's true. Dracula has not uh, done well in terms of that metric, but uh, he is, in terms of not being near the Hunters, it's doing pretty well. At least we assume. And now we have to deal with the fact of where did he go? Hunters have lost the trail. And we know he is not in Zurich. That's one down. I'm, will, I'm pretty sure he left his mis... Oh, yeah. Strasburg. Yeah, I was thinking his misdirect was and Paris, directly. but... Yeah, if he waited just one more turn to misdirect Strasburg instead. Was Strasburg already on the trail at that point, though? Uh, no, he misdirected. Made... Yeah, he went to Strasburg, misdirected Paris, and then Wolf formed. Yeah, uh, Strasburg. Then he had some reluctance to misdirect away a vamp. Yeah. All right, so we have a day comment against a reckless. Let's see if Dracula can get his first point of the game here with a timely bite. Timely Fang. Yeah, Seward's not quite as equipped as you'd think he'd be. He's got the dogs, he's got the horse, and two items. But we don't know anything about his equipment. Start with a Mesmerize. And a punch! Yep, look into my fist. <laughs> Oof. So strong, uh guesswork on Strider's part there. Well, it looks like we might be seeing some... That or Wormtown's hopefully starting to condition him to throw out a punch early on every time. Yeah. Or maybe he just didn't open with a bite. Yeah. So, Mina or, Mina or Van Helsing's got to get up here to deal with this vamp. Another Mesmerize. Stopping Ooh. a knife. Very nice. Yep, double Mesmerize. That bite would have fit, playing bite would have finished the vampire. So, um, we know Seward has horses, dogs, and a knife. Wonder what Plus that fourth one, one is. <laughs> it's Cruiser Fix. Have any <laughs> It's Strider. It's a crucifix. <laughs> Reckless is going to bite now, and we're going to figure out if that does damage on our crucifix. Yep. The one it has was placed in the discard earlier. One of the uh, crucifix. Yep, Bang. 
and an escape. All right. All right. Drac. So the vamp is fully healed. And Drac Stewart is on the escaped. board. And Drac is on the board. So if this comes down to week four, that's one less day for Dracula to run around. That could end up mattering. <laughs> so, uh, the hunters have quickly found the trail, but Dracula is uh, three spaces away from them. At least. Or, uh, at maximum, excuse me. Yep. There's still a little bit of distance. <laughs> Worm is uh, being a little bit cheeky, and with that one point, I'm closer to victory than the last time I played Drac against you. <laughs> yeah, last time he was shut out. It was a close game, but score-wise, he was shut out. I uh, like uh, I like Worm's good spirits uh, about all this. Worm, uh, in my experience, kind of coming through this tournament and getting to know folks. Uh, I've been impressed with the attitude Worm has towards every game, win or lose. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, Worm's been my friend for like, uh, like ten years now, so I can't really oh, give wow. a fair. I can't really give a fair assessment of him for uh, <laughs> for from an outside perspective on this tournament. I've just known him for too long. Yeah, you guys got some history there. Yep. So the nice thing about uh, wolfing from Strasbourg is if you went east, uh, you can't just hit Munich and no. They would have to check uh, Prague. Vienna and Zagreb and even Prague. Yeah. Well, maybe not necessarily Prague. Yeah. But you have to at least check uh, Vienna and Zagreb. And if you didn't go east, that kind of puts you out of position to uh, rule that out. And with Mina being uh, have been having been delayed in Saragossa, she is not very well positioned to come help with uh, scans. Yep, that's one of the risks you do when you start Mina out alone. You give up your scan ability. Yeah, he could have wolfed to Munich. He could have wolfed up to Leipzig. Yep. <laughs> All right, a new challenger of uh, approaches for uh, Mr. Reckless. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> nope, that was short-lived. Yeah. So that does raise one question. Why did he go up there unless it's just a trade? Huh. It's not to trade. How about that? I guess that means Godalming has a stake, perhaps? Nope, can't. Can't? Well, are they all the... They are. Van Helsing had one and Mina had one, and I don't think there's a trade. I could be wrong and was pay attention, but I don't think there's a trade for items. Yeah. Again, don't take it with a grain of salt. I may not have been paying attention. I like uh, moving sewer to Prague, though. It sends you towards the east, puts you in a position to check things out. Close the diff distance if Worm did go that way. Um, but Prague might also be a way to go um, to go back north. Yep. Get a place pass. To move to. So he didn't move immediately the most direct route east. But as he said, he could have gone to uh, Leipzig. Not Leipzig, uh, Munich. And now he's making his way right. down the Adriatic coast. Right. Oh. I was misreading the map. Uh, forgetting. Uh, yeah, that's a rail line a rail between, between the two. Between Strasbourg and yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that does make the Prague off. search more important. Yep. And in music, Munich, uh, hitting Munich more important. There's also a chance he's currently making his way down the boot. I don't think it's likely, it's but also... it is possible he's made, he's made his way towards the boot now. 
That'd be a nasty minefield for the hunters to clear out if you have rumors down there. Create his first layer. Oh, wait, no, second layer. I'm sorry. That was third layer. I'm, <laughs> I am just out of it right now, apparently. Yep, layers all around. Oh, that layers might in a straight it. line. Sargos said to lose Clay on Fran, just going up out of uh, Spain. If, he's it, thinking uh, if, if he cycles back there, that's going to be pretty nasty for the hunters to run through. Most definitely. If he did try to double back west, uh, he would have a wall of nasty uh, additional events. Granted, we know one of them is just a uh, <laughs> some rats in a saboteur. Oh, we got surprising return coming. Are we gonna see an extra search? Good old Johnny. Yep. We definitely gonna search with him. Now is that Mina's surprising returns or different characters? Not, not Florence. Florence. So all right, so he's not going down the boot. That was Mina's uh, surprise uh, return. She's now showing sense of emergency. That'll help her with her movement. And bad horses. And, yep. That uh, horse economy is rough. Yep. Okay. Doesn't have it quite perfect yet. Hmm. Seward's trying to supply his way out. Oh, there's Rufus Smith. Now, there's another search. That? Yeah, either he's going to search with it or this will be his ally because there's only a surprising return left in the deck now, ally wise. Yep, he's allying. He's the ally. So he doesn't have that last surprising return, looks like. Now, if uh, Wormtown did try to get cute and do a double back strategy. That Rufus could matter quite a bit. Yep. Have to imagine that in the sh short term, that would be less beneficial if he did go east. Yeah. But at some point, Rufus is going to help out. Yep. How much value will he get out of it? All right. Van Helsen is trying to fix. Oh, trying to use some of those. Okay. He's right next to Strasburg, uh, so he'll be able to stake it before it matures. Yep. And Mia's taking the train just to get away from that uh, layer highway. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he had a two-ticket to take up to Paris, at least, to completely avoid it. Elzig and Seward. Well... I have to, uh, I think things have gone pretty well for Worm in terms of not getting found. Yep. We're going to see a He's fight with Van Helsing day. next turn. Unless he's going to just abandon Strasbourg. I don't think he's going to abandon Strasbourg. He want to keep that wolf on the trail just as long as he can. Yep, I think that's right. And if that wipes so, the trail, that you are very far behind Dracula. <laughs> what next for Dracula? Just okay. Yep. The no. trail continues. Well, there's no point in not keeping the trail going right now. Seeing if he to get his one hit point back, he's get a dark call. Hmm. 
just uh, the fact that this trail keeps getting longer makes me think east is increasingly likely. Because mm-hmm. if he had done a kind of a cheeky double back strategy, one he likely would have uh, had his trail discovered by now. And even if he hadn't, I think he'd be in a position where he had to do something other than continue to move. Yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like that uh, vampire is about to be staked, so... The worst-case scenario won't be happening to Strider. I I expect that will be the case. Yeah. And Zagreb. Yep, he was making his way down the okay. Adriatic coast. I just don't and think you could do. Suggested. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to do eight damage to. Oh, he's got escape route, so no damage is gonna be Brother. done. Yeah, but he's burned All two right. escape routes on that one reckless. In a sense of emergency. <laughs> he's also uh, thrown out sensible. two of. Yeah, he's thrown out both of his holy circles, so. He's gonna have a hard time escaping combat if he doesn't want to be in it right now. All right, Mina is booking it east as well. Okay, dog's doing some work. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's just the jar of dirt. <laughs> Dogs go out and have fun. Dig up. Yeah, I think they're too busy sniffing it now. Maybe you'll find a bone in there. To go with the wolves. Scarty mob and jar of dirt inside the jar of dirt. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Skull, you gotta throw right. away two cards. <laughs> That's still a good amount of deck cycling. And Seward will and reveal Seward the has a host. All right, so now we know what Seward has weapon-wise. He's got the host, he's got a knife. Oh, and there's the stake of the Reckless. Yep. All right. So yeah, I don't think Worm would be too surprised to learn that there was a, a heavenly host on Seward. Yep. And Mia's got the last stake until the reshuffle, which is not that far off. True. But, but in order to get the those, he's going to have to stop and start... Uh, digging at that point he's not going for the trail anymore I could see him leaving Mina in uh, in Genoa to let some other hunters continue on following the trail mm-hmm. or perhaps um, moving housing see... there or to Marseille we only see two horses so far true so maybe that last <laughs> horse is still in the deck Yeah, uh, Strider's next set of movement will tell us something in that regard. Yeah. Down layers up in Strasbourg. Yep, makes sense. That's a yep. well-trafficked area. Yeah, but he's dropping off his uh, <laughs> Sargos the one. All right. Good horse. He should be able to get to 55 and... No, wait, no, he can't get to 55 to get rid of that. So, either okay. he's got... Okay, so, Seward's going to have to backtrack to Vienna, or they're just he's just going to have to let this wolf mature. Well, I mean, wolf form location mature. Yes. So, uh, Evo. It's weird, there, were no, there wasn't a prompt. Yeah. Hmm. Now there's odd. the last horse. Van Helsing has it. What will he do with it? Hmm. 
You won't be able to make it to 58 to stop the, uh... Okay, some trading, perhaps? Yeah. And Mina will hit, uh... Oh, it was Munich that had... Oh, and it's a reckless. reckless. Uh-oh. All right. Rick, Mia does have the last stake, so he can't afford to not go for it. My hand size of five. Yep. We know she has the stake, so two weapons. And, oh yeah, she has a stake and she has a heavenly host. It's been revealed since turn one. You have to assume that she's going to want to escape here and stake. Yep. Punch or not to punch? Well, if... So far he's punched... He's been punching a lot for his opening turn. For all one combat we've had. Mesmerize. Mesmerize? Yep. Not a punch. Not. Mina's going to stick around. Looks like... Looks like he's... Wormtown's favoring the Mesmerize turn one right now. Now, will we try to plot? Will we try to get a fang in? Will we try to get a claw in? Well, you know Mina has the, uh... Heavenly Host, so going for the bites would be a your safest bet right now. That's right. And certainly, Mina could use the Heavenly Host to knock out the Reckless, but I have to imagine he's going to want to save that for a potential, uh... CG. Yeah. All quiet in the chat so far. If uh, any of the three people watching uh, have any thoughts on this game, which has been pretty exciting so far, let us know. <laughs> he's going to plot. A plot. And yeah, a he's punch. punching. All right. Well, good thinking. Uh, uh, good thinking on Strider's part. Good guesswork. All right, we know he's probably going to try to escape now. So, yep. we fang. Do you got the other mesmerize? Well, what will Worm do? If he's, well, if Mia's got the knife, going for the fang would immediately turn around and save him the stake, but reveal the knife. Going for the getting the second point is not that bad. This is a day fight, so that mesmerize is not going to turn into a dead Mina. <laughs> There's the other Mesmerize. Oh, he's trying to no. dodge. <laughs> well, Mia's obvious goal is to just minimize damage and get out of there. Reckless doesn't want to escape. Basically can't escape, because he's going to be dead anyway. Escaping would just mean ending the fight and forcing the stake. Oh wait, she's me he's mesmerized. So the oh, he's just gonna end the fight. Interesting. Huh. All right, it's gonna force I'm... me into the stake. So at least he knows yeah. there won't be any more stakes for a little while. It's kind of a surprising play. Yeah. I guess he was worried about uh, heavenly host. Uh, I'm not sure. Probably just didn't draw the bite. Yeah. Even without a bite, right? Like, <laughs> even Strider asked you, what, fang, yeah, what shit hand did you have? <laughs> you could always use claws or strength or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mesmerize, plotting, escape, escape, escape. Play a Mesmerize, get a new one. Yeah. Play the plotting, nothing. <laughs> I mean, even if you had all three escape cards plus a plotting, oh, what you say? A maybe, bad one, huh? Yeah. Maybe he a got strength. strength on that last draw. But I feel like even then you'd play the strength, right? Well, he figured he's going to escape anyway. The strength's not going to go off. I'm just okay. going to take the satisfaction of saying I escaped first. Yep, he's going to be bad okay. away. Interesting. I wonder if uh, Worm has been selecting his um, encounters with the knowledge that uh, Seward has those dogs. Because they haven't been all that helpful thus far. Yeah, we haven't seen... Alright, then there's the final stake. 
He has got Heavenly Host and a horse. Yep. Next vampires are going to get fought or ignored. Yep. Or we push off the deck and find a new stake. He's got to draw at least four cards to get a stake. To start draw having the potential for a stake. Dracula was in Sarajevo. Where to after that? Is he up doing a loop around the castle? Is he making a break for Athens? Yeah, for right now, Dracula would want to stay on land just to force the hunters to come closer to him. Yep. Hmm. I, mean, I think he cornered himself and has to go to sea already. Could be. Or, I mean, I have to assume you're right and that he courted himself and was in Athens and needed to do that. But he could have just, you know, been in uh, Bologna and wanted to just go right back into Italy and make the hunters decide, follow Drac to Italy, or clear trail in, in the east. You know, he's, that could yeah. be. He's threatening seven points right now with that. Uh... Actually, hold on, how many... Oops, little horse on Gottling. Yeah, that uh, poor horse economy is causing Strider a little bit of trouble. Yep, and... Seward is going back to 59. I think that yep. makes sense. It doesn't uh, give any information as to what the trail was. Um, so. it's, it's three reckless, right? In the deck? Uh, the two or three... Um, I think it's three. We've seen All right. two. Alright, so that could be the final Reckless, it could be an Aristo Vamp, or it could be a new Vampire. A new Vampire right now would be pretty nasty since all the stakes are gone. That would force multiple Hunters to have to deal with it. Also interesting, so Greb is about to become a Lair, and there are two other Hunters that might be tempted to, or might be inconvenienced by avoiding it, which will also be interesting. Same with Sarajevo. Yeah. 38 Munich is now a uh, lair. Oh, you're right. Interesting. So that's creating a nice little plug in the to go west again. One thing we know, Dracula's headed west. <laughs> go eat west, oh. old vampire. Go west. Well, I, I say I think be, I've been a little strong with that. It's possible Dracula could still go east and loop back to the uh, Bulgarian coast. I have to think that's unlikely in this circumstance. Well, well, we know. I can tell you one thing for certain: Dracula's favorite place on the board is where the hunters aren't looking. <laughs> yep, I like that logic. Yep. Currently, they have to have their eyes on the east because of that trail with the rumor token. And if he's at sea, he's likely moving back to the west. Yeah, whether it's a um, uh, new vamp or a different vamp, whether it's six points or seven on that rumor token, that's going to cut the number of days Dracula has to survive in the Fury phase by two, which is a big deal. Yep. Only two days of movement will be required. And that will put the Hunters on a very tight timeline. And we're But we're about to start week three. We still have another week before we can question that one. Oh, he's misdirecting where, what port he left in. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. I like it. I like it, Worm Talon. I get the feeling he went to, uh, Belgrade to, uh, Sofia. And then he went to either... He went to one of the three ports at that point. And whichever port he left from leaves many questions about which way he's heading. Yeah. That is a very good misdirect. Especially if that yep. card in slot 4 right now is number 50, Safia. Yep, I agree with that. Three different ports, all going to a different sea. Yeah, what about Safia and a hide? That'd be a nice uh, arrangement. Uh, couldn't be. Why not? Oh, wait, no, never mind, I missed that road. 
I always forget 49 and 50 are connected. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the longest right. roads of the game in terms of length drawn. And a hide and 50 would mean that you've got a rumored vampire and something pretty nasty to protect it, likely. Interesting. Yeah. You can't check the ports anymore. Certainly if it was Sophia and then Salonica or Bologna, that's much better than having a port on the trail. Yeah. Oh, he did hide. Wow. Nice move, Worm. Well done. That is Seven. that is incredibly good move. And he reveals Saboteur. a saboteur on the hide. Enjoy your delay. Yep. Oh, okay. Burning dogs. More dogs. And a reckless. And another reckless. The final reckless. No, uh, no stake this time. Have have at the Seward, or, or I'm sorry, have at the Helsing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I said, he can't really afford to ignore this reckless right now. Now, he'll have multiple chances to deal with it before it goes away. So, it's not unlikely that he can't kill this reckless, but... The important part is he can't ignore it. <laughs> yep, I agree with that. Will, I think there will be a temptation to use a heavenly host to clear it, which yeah. will... Van Helsing's only got one weapon a... in his hand. Sets up a dilemma. Yeah, and if that is a heavenly host, if Reckless Bite bams, that's going to be... Fangs? Oh, it was a host! He's wow! bitten Van Helsing! <laughs> that is a play. I knew that was too strong. Well played, Worm Talon. Woo! So. Stratus is ouch, and I agree. Van Helsing has been completely neutralized with that bite. He can't fight this Reckless anymore. He's got to go resupply. Nope. So that means Seward is not going to be able to follow Dracula. Yeah. Or I suppose someone He's... else is going to have to deal with it. Yep, he either has to have Seward fight it, or he's got to come and get an entire third hunter in there. And uh, having a bite and... on Van Helsing creates some danger for the future. Local uh, rumors, okay. Yeah, funnily enough, the rumors in Vienna don't go anywhere. You don't go anywhere. <laughs> no kidding. Surprising all involved. Uh, uh, Seward's going to have to only gets one chance at it, so as long as... Worm Talon doesn't go for the ambush. This will be one shot to kill it. We know Van Helsing's got a knife and a Heavenly Host on him, too. Oh, I forgot about that. Because the Host was bitten off of him, that's gone now. CG is weakened. Yeah, and if uh, Seward uses the other Heavenly Host, that's going to make CG even weakened even further. Yeah, we're about to get the reshuffle, though, so if he plays it before supplying, then it will at least be shuffled back into the deck for a chance to come back out. Hmm. Yeah. This the... match has gone pretty heavily in Dracula's favor suddenly. It's not a runaway win yet, but Dracula has definitely got the advantage. Yep, I certainly agree with that. And if Dracula can find a place to get away and feed a little bit, you know, we yeah. are getting towards the point where Dracula can sail to... Oh, yeah. well, I guess it depends he's, on the, the Reckless. He's, yep, he's still got the... Uh, yeah, Rufus Smith is still in play. That's already gonna... Can't sail too much. Yeah. Without giving up the very advantage he's gained. Right now, the Hunters need a money trail to catch John where he went. Yep, that would be exceedingly helpful to the Hunters right now if they had that. Yeah. Or if they had, they're probably waiting for him to land before playing it. Either or. The Hunters are in a bind. <laughs> the one nice hmm. thing is that that Reckless Vampire is the only thing on the trail to deal with. Yes. That is their one little bit of solace. So. Alright, Dracula's right. wolf forming onto land. So? 
That Dracula could be. That kind of tells me that he's on the. He went from the Turinian, I think. Probably wolfed over to Marseille's. You mean he went from the I to the Ionian to the Turinian? Yep. Yeah, I see. That's what I believe right now. Though, if he went from Ionian to Black Sea and is just wolfed into Bucharest, that could be a nasty ambush if Van Helsing tries to go up there to resupply. That would be interesting. <laughs> yeah. It'd be very dangerous for Dracula to do, but he would be able to run to his castle to get five health back. Especially if the hunters are now going to start running to the west thinking, he, like I did, that he's in Marseille's. Amina has a sense of emergency, so we can check immediately. Yep. Not in 37. Right, not Milan. Yep, Seward's going in. No, he's ambushing. Okay. Heroic leap. Oh, and a heroic leap. Well played. Alright. That burns the heroic leap, at least. One but... thing that would be interesting is if... Dracula went to Adriatic and then wolfed to Florence, knowing that the um, risk of CG being a problem is much right. diminished. Well, looks like he's done the caveman version of uh, <laughs> steak. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that will free up the hunters to start moving west now, unfortunately. But yes. that is another card off the table that Dracula has to worry about. Oh, okay, that's smart. We're going to see a... Um, that's a psychic scan, scan on Italy. Yep. That will cover a lot of the spaces Dracula could be. Yeah, almost all of them. Really. Yep. It'll leave Marseille open. I mean, if it's not um, Italy. It will leave Marseille open or going back east. Yep. healing up. Yep. And all the layers that were blocking off Spain are gone. Yes. He is not, not in Italy. Italia! So is he in Marseille? So or is did in he... Marseille? Or he backtracked into... He's feeding. Oh, no. Is he... Did he actually go to 10? Did he actually loop to the Black Sea? It'd be fast for him to check it. It's only one space away. Anyone can make it there. Does... Okay. Yep, he is it's in Marseille. It's Marseille. Alright, so it's going to be Gdalming and Mina taking on Big Bad Drac. Well, he did not use the uh, encounter there. It could be a fog. Drac's only got one card left in the deck, and we have not behind the Veiled. So if Mina does not, Mina or Galvin don't have fog, then suddenly For they're one. trapped in there, and Dracula gets to just walk away. Start a carriage. All right. Yeah. How? Let's see. Two. Yep, that's gonna get him. Nearly the entire way there. Although, even without a weapon, though, just taking some of the attention away could be mm -hmm. helpful. Yeah. A, a hunter dying right now is not the worst that could happen. No. Even if he's just punching to deal one damage, that's going to add up. That still adds to the killing Dracula.
All right. Is there a fog? Yes, there's there a is fog. a fog. Is there forewarned? There is no forewarned. All right. I have to imagine we'll see a a wolf form uh, nope, here. No, can't be a wolf form out. He wolf formed in. Oh, you're right. Excuse me. Yep. Surprising, Surprising return. return. Yep. Putting Sister Aggie in as his ally. Okay. Drax's not going to get very far from here. So Drax's going to have to have a plan to how he's going to start getting away from them. Well, with Rufus the sea is slightly safer. Yep. Rufus has gone to retirement. We know that Sister Aggie will be the ally for the remainder of the game. But now that I have at this point. Yeah. Well, Sister Aggie is still a really powerful ally. Yep. I agree. But higher track has become an option again. Plus, he still has one Pirate more frog in much... his pocket. Yes. Pirate Jack is less threatening now that that Reckless has not matured. Yep. And he's actually fogged off a very key choke point. If Van Helsing wants to catch up, if he heads west, then he's got to take a long way around wait for that fog to clear. Or he'll just have to, you know, <laughs> take a turn to Eat supply. Eat the uh, layer. Yeah. Yeah, that row of layers is going to be exceedingly inconvenient for uh, for Seward. Yep. Granted, Unless he has another charter carriage. Granted, it might just be some wolves or rats. Just cards that Dragon doesn't care about getting hit. True. Um... I don't know. I, I, when I play, I may I may overrate the impact of the of landing on a layer. I just always try to avoid it if I can. Yeah, that's generally good. Sometimes avoiding idea. it is more of a yeah, yeah more of a penalty you don't know than if just avoiding the is... damage. Like I said, we don't know what they are, so it could be any. You're walking into a question mark. Oh, hey, Dad. <laughs> Although. Uh, Stewart still has dog, so I suppose that minimizes the risk. Yep, he's going to walk into it. All right. Spy. Spy. Ooh, okay. that's going to sting. Yep, he'll just lose burn a those dogs. Yep. I thought you had to lose a weapon. Can you lose dogs? I believe dogs can be discarded for uh, to stop a spy, but, well, can't really check now. Yeah. Does Let's drop see. a rifle, it looks like. Yep, rifle. But yeah, Seward's not really in a great spot to do uh, combat, so yeah, dropping that and rifle dogs. for now. Yep. Alright. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to sail to the east for a few more t for some more time, so... Going up to England could be a pretty powerful move still, even with the uh, CG risk. We know they can't completely nuke him. True. Although England is very risky for, from a uh, CG hotel standpoint, and Strider coined that phrase, so yeah. um, you have to be exceedingly... Well, like you just have to be careful about how you move up there. Because assuming there are three, or there are two heaven hosts remaining out there, um, London is not safe, Plymouth's not safe, a lot of, and you can't wolf form, right? Um, oh. So actually, it's not that dangerous. If London's not dangerous, London, you're just gonna stand there for one turn. He's got hide. He's got dark call. No, no, At no. At no. that if point, he... the uh, so he lands in London from English Channel. He puts the Heavenly Host token itself on London and puts, uh, I'm sorry, puts the CG token itself on London and the Heavenly Host tokens on Manchester and uh, Swansea. Then um, Dracula is forced to go to Plymouth and, and then is stuck there for three turns. Uh, I can never three. really 
Isn't uh, Plymouth touching IRC? I can never tell with how small that spot no. is. Oof, no. No, yeah, it that... does not touch IRC. Yep, that would be uh, that'd be Dracula Jail. Yeah, I think yep, literally I any any of these cities on the uh, UK coast is really impossible um, because of that CG hotel risk. Um, I suppose. I suppose something from Irish could be could be okay. Well, You'd have to take the five, or you wouldn't die. Yeah, Ireland. Yeah, Ireland is still going to be a dangerous spot to go to. Yeah. Not unless, unless he times Ireland, it just right to land as the first day goes off. Right. Then if he gets forced back to sea, he'll still be able to come back to the mainland to get his last yes. land movement. Worm, as Dracula is thinking long and hard about this next move, and I, I do not blame him. Let's see. He's in Toulouse for today. Let's just say he goes Barcelona Friday, Mediterranean Saturday, Alicante Sunday, North Atlantic for Monday. Um, Barcelona and Alicante do not connect by road. So he'd have to go Saragossa, Alicante, and so forth. I mean, Toulouse to Alicante. I mean, Toulouse, Barcelona. Ugh. I can English today. Toulouse, know... Barcelona, Saragossa? Yeah. I think 54... he'd Toulouse, Saragossa. Yeah, yeah 54 for he's on the Mediterranean coast. Nope, he's not. So, okay. maybe he's in Bordeaux. Could be Every, uh, ooh. I presume Strata will take the hit on Munich. Yep. Yep, nope. No ambush. Maybe it's an aristocratic. Yeah. Yeah, just I have to imagine with something point. out of layer, something out of layer, you're going to use the ambush. Oh, interesting. Van Helsing has forewarned. So that um, a future use of fog is much less likely to be effective here. Yep, he's in Bordeaux. Okay, that's probably the spot most of us would have assumed. Uh, I am bushing with whatever it is. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's got six cards, so I, know, I, I believe one of them is still a heavenly host. Oh boy! Yeah, this Bye. is going to be a very, very important combat. Yeah, Sister Agatha is going to stop Drac from healing off bites, but if he can bite Mina and kill her with that heavenly host. Especially with that heavenly host in Mia's hand, that puts a lot of questions on Dracula's side. Can't he can't really safely mesmerize, but he can't really safely bite. Because Mia could have a knife in it. She's been sitting on. Yep, this is Mina's a difficult combatant for Dracula right now. Yep, she's got all her options. This is um this could be determined. This could determine the game. She may not need to kill Dracula. She may just need to weaken him enough for a CG checkmate penalty. Yep, I certainly agree with that. Or just prevent him from sailing too much, yep. burning the clock. I have to imagine that Dracula would want to sail away here. All right. Card selected. And now we take the 10 minute pause while Dracula looks at his hand to decide. <laughs> well, like I said, this is, like we said, this is the key combat. This is going to determine everything, potentially. Mina is, we have to assume, very well prepared for it. He's going for the bite. Back to the fang. 
Oh, crucifix! Oh no, Strider's favorite. <laughs> does that deal damage? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, it absolutely does. All right, good start for Strider. <laughs> Even more talent degrees. <laughs> All right, so that does change things slightly. If Drac tries to bite again and she, Mia's got a knife on her, then that's a very, she'll have a safe uh, heavenly host to play. Might be. Yep, any selection Dracula makes here is fraught with risk. Yep. Assuming there's a knife and a heavenly host. He's going to plot. Interesting. A knife. All right. All right. The plot will go off at least, so Drac will get his choice of hand. But, but again, that half really... of Dracula's health is gone. Yep. But again, we go back to the question. Does Mina go in for the kill with the host, or does she play the crucifix again? It's a big game of chicken now. Who's going to blink first? Certainly a uh, a host. Yeah, Dracula well, can't use Mesmerize right now. There's no safe way to do that. Yeah. The, uh... Yeah, he Good needs to play... Like to... Yeah, he has to play one more card before Dracula can uh, attempt an escape. A bad escape would be really good for Dracula. Yeah, getting certainly uh, getting crucifixed again would be terrible, and getting hit with the host would be terrible. This is a very difficult position for Worm. He's going strength. Strength. Oh, that's the host. Oh no. Yeah, Dracula right. can't escape anymore. He can't go to sea either. To... This is looking like it's going to be game. Yeah, I can't think of any way it would not be game, right? Because you can't bang. I guess you could strength again? Yep, strength. If he mesmerizes the crucifix, that kills him. Yeah. So he needs to survive to the end of round six, right? Because uh, he'll take two damage for yep. escaping. Yep, he'll kill himself if he tries to escape now. He needs to, I guess, guess correctly. Yep. You using mesmerize and strength. He's playing strength. And a punch. Yeah, Wormtown could cancel that with plotting, but I don't think he'll want to. Unfortunately, yeah, sure now that's what... full strengths off the board. Yep. So he has to mesmerize the knife or and not mesmerize the crucifix. If he can pull off Double Claw, he'll kill Mina, but Mina will have to play her uh, Crucifix this turn. And does Crucifix damage Claws? Or is no. that Garlic? Okay. Mesmerize, Escape is Missed, and I believe and Bite are what get cancelled by Crucifix. Right, it cancels those three, but does yeah. it do damage for Claw? I think it does damage no. for Mesmerize and Fang. Yep. And then Garlic does damage for for claws and fang. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Like I said, okay. if he plays knife now, Drac has to mesmerize and he can't kill Mina anymore. Um, but does, at this point, though, does Drac have anything that could stop the knife? Because he's used both strengths. Only mesmerize. Yes. I guess. Only mesmerize. But if Mia plays crucifix now, claws will go off, and then claws can go off a second time before the knife goes off in the sixth round. But again, is he playing the knife right now? 
mesmerize the knife, you lose. Claw the knife. I mean, mesmerize the crucifix, you lose. Claw the knife, you lose. You can't bite either way. So, how would you play this right now if you were Dracula? Would you well, go for the Mesmerize or the Claws, assuming you have either? The... I think you go for the Crucifix now. You might kill him. Worst case scenario, you... you um... You take damage and you survive. And then you play knife next turn and you either kill Dracula or... Yep. Um, oh, actually, I guess if there's two claws, you could die, right? Yeah. Like I said, we'll assume... Like I said, I'm looking at this from Dracula's perspective because Mina, the best answer is to knife for her. <clears throat> Dracula's too afraid to mesmerize right now. The knife... The mesmerize would just wouldn't do enough damage anyway. Oh, he's just gonna. Okay, Dracula's just gonna take the L. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, he's gonna knife him bad. anyway. Hmm. All right. Well, GG Strider going on to the championship with only one loss in the regular season and two losses in the. Uh, I'm sorry, one loss in the um, postseason. Yeah. It was a great game. Yeah. Wrong on the. That's all she wrote. So we will uh, next see a, a trio of uh, duo or trio of games between Strider and Altaris for the crown. Yeah. Well, potentially a trio. It could go to a third game again. Most definitely. Yeah. Well, that'll be a matchup to look forward to. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this and we shall see you again at some point. <laughs> yep. Thanks for watching. And uh, looking forward to watching the thrilling Strider Altaris Championship game with all of you. <laughs>